Hi friends, it's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm here with my little Yorkshire Terrier, Ellie. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and we're going to make some cards together on this live. Welcome to all my YouTube people. Welcome to my Facebook people. I'm just going to scooch my chair up a little bit so I can get closer. Um, I hope you're having a great Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, the 22nd of March, 2023. This year is flying by. Easter is coming up in just a few weeks. Oh my goodness. Where are you looking, baby? Where are you looking? Okay, I'm going to just check right here and make sure that we are live online. That's the important thing, isn't it? to make sure you guys are with me. Okay, it looks like we are live online. That's good. Very good. Hi, Roz. Hi, Linda, Pam, Tammy. Good to see all of you. Um, Renee from Columbus, Ohio. Good to see you. So just a little warning. We had an electrician out this morning. So we've been really scattered as far as the power was going off and on. I'm trying to prepare my for the class. Um, the internet was going off and on because the power was going off and on. Ellie was running around following the electrician through the house. <laughs> so all that to say, should, there's a little hair in my face here, should anything happen with our, um, uh, now it messed up my bangs, I figured that would happen. Should anything happen with our, um, transmission. I will go ahead, I will continue the filming, and I will post it after. Just a little warning. Holly, good to see you. Ellie and I do have the same color hair. We're pretty close in color. Yes, we are. <laughs> and I thought today I did bring a, a cookie for her because she's been a good girl. She was sitting so quietly in her bed right before I started the live. So, Tina, Granite Falls, North Carolina, Linda Brady, good to see you. Okay, she's a little bit alert now, isn't she? Well, um, we have so much to talk about today, and I have a super cute card for you, a birthday card we're going to make. So, um, you ready to get down? Okay, she's going to jump down. I'm going to continue with our the things we're going to talk about. First of all... I'm actually going to just turn you down so that we can see some of the things that, that I'm going to talk about. Here we go. Um, my March host code. So my host code gift this month, I think, is a really great gift. So that's why I'm really kind of advertising it. The host code is written up above for Facebook, down below for um, YouTube. and. I think it's great. It's this beautiful Fern 3D embossing folder. So I really want you guys to get it because it. I think it's a really neat gift. Um, if you have that embossing folder and you place an order $50 or more in my online store and use the host code, just email me at Peggy at PrettyPaperCards.com and pick a different embossing folder. Not a hybrid because those are different. But if you have this and you still want to make an order, do so and I'll give you an, a different uh, embossing folder. I like to give out embossing folders for gifts because I think they're neat. Okay, that's the host code. Next thing, online exclusives. I had someone ask the other day and I didn't, sometimes I don't catch all the comments. Um, thank you, Roz. Um, I don't catch all the comments sometimes because I, I can't look and work at the same time and then I don't see them until afterward and maybe even until the next week when I'm going through and seeing who wrote the word prize. So um, the, someone asked, are the online exclusives only for a month? And the answer to that is no. The online exclusives they have told us um, will be will continue until they decide they're they're out, but several months for sure the online exclusives. So definitely um, get them because they're going to go on for several months and some of them when they run out they'll just order more. They will let us know if more will not be coming. So I thought I'd zip through them again. So this is the Naturally Gilded Specialty Designer Series Paper 
and you you can't find them in a catalog I want to clarify you can only find them in online stampinup.com under online exclusives they're trying a new thing so then there's the classic letter stamp set okay already these have run out I just got them and I think we used one last week in one of my um, hi Colleen good to see you we used them last week on one of my lives I used one of these and they're not sold out they're just they're coming back but they were so popular people just snatched them right up the hello irresistible suite similar thing here these have been discontinued the dots for some reason there must be something wrong with where they get them the dies are currently out but they come back in these have been coming in and out they get them back pretty quickly so um, right now the dies are out but the stamp set and the beautiful paper are in the elegant border dies because I just checked the inventory status report right before I came on for you these are available radiating stitches dies I've seen a few people use these they're really neat the gold and silver trim the tropical leaf bundle which we used here love now the the circle punches were out the two and the one and three quarter but when I looked today they're not out so there you go and the rhino ready bundle so I don't think they're around forever but the online exclusives are around for a while Linda good good to see you please put down a prize if you want one okay and the next thing the beautiful beautiful my favorite ever in colors 2021 to 2023 are going to end on May 1st already most of these colors if not all I didn't have a chance to check but the low inventory under low inventory they all just sped by Oh, Roz has the radiating, radiating stitches and loves them. Okay, great, Roz. Good to know. Anyway, these are already on low inventory. Get them while you can. Um, paper, uh, ink. Um, the paper, there is, you know, an assortment of a, a eight and a half by 11 of all the, like five sheets of each one of the five colors. So um, the ribbons. I love those ribbons. I use those ribbons all the time, the open weave ribbons. And so this is a prize that if you put the word prize, you'll get it next. It'll be awarded next week. This is the prize I'm going to give away next week. And you put the word prize today or when you see this, um, the 2021-23 in color opal rounds. So these will go out also. And these are gorgeous. I have loved these. So in colors, okay. Then, that's kind of, oh, dates. Okay, exciting dates. Uh, but let me show you something first, and then I'll turn you back up. So I ha we're not going to make this today, but I had fun over the weekend. I got out my gnomes, my gnome dies, and I just had a bunch of fun. Um, I wanted to make a spring card, but what I ended up doing is making this big fold-out card with gnomes on eggs. So I put them on one of our ovals from the uh, framed florets dies, and this just keeps folding and more and more spring gnomes. Look at that, aren't they so cute? I just kept, kept doing gnomes and then I came to the end and it says, I put this sentiment from like blessed spring stamp set or something, hope you're this spring brings you many blessings but it's just kind of a big long I mean I can't even show it all to you that's how long it is and then when you fold it up so when you get it all folded up you can pull the this is one of those ribbons this is the pale papaya that's going out and then you tie it in a bow right over here on this side and then it's a little a little fold up card isn't that so cute I just had, I didn't want to make it online because we would just be here forever just die cutting gnomes, right? But I had so much fun. And um, what I did, I think I used three by five, two and a half by five, something like that. And I just did two or three at a time and, and then glued them together. I used 12 by 12 basic white paper. 
Aren't those cute? I just love these. Okay, I'm going to turn you back up here because I want to tell you some important dates. Let's see. Okay, important dates. And if you have some paper and pencil, you might want to jot these down. I'll continue to tell you. But so you know we have a new online catalog, a new catalog coming up out, a new annual catalog. The current annual catalog is this one right here. Okay. It has been a beautiful one, but it ends on May 1st. So May 1st is the last day you can order from this catalog. And May 1st is also the last day you can order from the Spring Mini, okay? Those are done on May 1st. And on May 2nd, we are having a brand new annual catalog. Brand new, new in colors and a color refresh. I think I've been talking about that with you. Um, a color refresh, so all the basic lines are gonna be scrambled around. Some colors taken out, some other colors put in. And so it's kind of a big deal. So here are some dates. If you are a demo, they, a demonstrator, they affect you. If you're a customer, they still affect you. So let me tell you, one week from today, oh you guys, I'm gonna be so excited when I come on here one week from today. Um, one week from today, we're, the demonstrators can see the new catalog online just for demonstrators. Okay, so I get to see it online one week from today. Like, I forget, let me see if I wrote the time down. I forgot the time, I don't know, during the day, but before I come on here, I think it's like one o'clock or something. So I'm going to be so excited. I will be able to tell you, all I can say is everything's beautiful, but you know, I know it will be, and we'll get to see the colors. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. But on that day, we also find out what the retiring items are from these two catalogs, okay? Because they will carry over many products from both of these catalogs, and we don't ever know what products they're going to carry over until the new catalog comes out. So we find that out on that day, a week from today. But what we also find out is what items are retiring for good, okay? And that affects you as customers. Yes, I know, Roz can't wait, I can either. So um, the thing is, many of the retiring items they put on sale. Now, here's what they've explained to us. We're gonna find out the retiring items on the 29th, but this, and we'll find out what the retiring, if there, if anything is on sale, which many of the items are, many are not, some will be on sale. The on sale price, we will find out on the 29th. However, the on sale price doesn't go into effect until April 4th, which is one, two, three, I think like the following Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday. One, two, three, I think it's the following Tuesday. April 4th is when the on sale, retire, the retiring items will go on sale, the ones that will be on sale at the discounted price, okay? So we, we have no idea, are people gonna buy up the retiring products before they go on sale when they know they're retiring on the 29th, but the sale price doesn't start till the 4th. So we don't know any of that. But all that to say, on the 29th, I'm gonna find all that out. That's why I'm a demonstrator, because I just can't stand to wait. I have to know all of the most important things. That's why many of us are demonstrator, men and men demonstrators. Oh, Roz has baby number six coming May 31st. Congratulations. That is grandbaby number six. How, wow, wow. Okay, so beginning the fourth then, the sale prices go active. Everybody can buy at the discounted price, whatever whatever the items that are discounted are. And as demonstrators, we get to place a pre-order, okay? We get to order some of the items from the new catalog early so that we can show them to you prior to the catalog going live, which is May 2nd. So one other thing I wanted to mention, if you're like me, you wanna know all that stuff early, you wanna be able to buy pre-order stuff, Join Stampin' Up! now. Become a demonstrator. You don't have to do what I do. You can be one of my hobby demonstrators. I have lots of lovely hobby demonstrators. 
lovely and I love them. So if you want to know all that stuff early, this is a perfect time to become a demonstrator. The links are above or below or email me Peggy at prettypapercards.com and I will um, talk to you about it. I would love to talk to you about it. So, okay, all the fun stuff, all the dates. Have you got those in your mind? Just be prepared for next Wednesday. Okay, I'm going to be like nuts. Okay, so now we're going to turn down officially and I'm going to show you our card today. And what I'm calling it is, um, it's another Dutch door card and I'm calling it the Dutch door fat cat. Isn't that cute? And it opens up like this only I kind of put too much of the gingham in there. I didn't leave as much space as I want to, so the one we make is going to have a little more space there. But isn't that just super cute? I have, this is from the Best Day stamp set. Okay, I have used the birthday cake quite a bit, but I've never used what all of us demonstrators call the fat cat. And I just think he's so adorable. And so I wanted to use him today. And I wanted to show you um, a couple of fun things to do. I wanted to show you again the Dutch door card. We've done that before, but I wanted to reintroduce it to you. And I'm going to show you how to do this. So let's get started with our little fat cat. He is adorable. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to make our Dutch door card. And I have my instructions right here. So I'm going to put them out here right next to me and get my paper trimmer so that we can make the Dutch door together. Thank you, Russ. Tammy, you love anything cats, I know. Okay, so we've got a five and a half by eight and a half inch standard card base, okay? So we're going to start out by scoring it at four and a quarter. So I'm going to put, put it... Um, landscape at four and a quarter and I'm going to use the gray the light gray blade which is the scoring blade okay and there we have a made our score line then I'm going to actually leave that down put my score blade up here and I'm going to come with my cutting blade and I'm going to cut up two and a half inches so it's at five and a half so I'm going to go to four and a half and then four I think is that right? Nope. I need to go to two inches would be three and a half. I need to go to three. I tell you guys, I'm not that great at math. Okay, so we cut two and a half inches in right on that same line. Then you just turn it one turn, um, put it at four and a quarter. No, no, what do I do? Uh, put it at three, yes. Well, two and a half. <laughs> oh gosh, we put it at two and a half because we cut in two and a half. Okay, and we're gonna pull down four and a quarter inches to the cut line that we had before. And there we have it. Okay, and then we fold our card in and there is our Dutch door. Okay, I need to replace my blades on here because I can see they're not, they're not um, looking quite right. So now sometimes you see that it came in a, a little short of, of the edge of the back. So I'm gonna pull it forward and score that line right there. That's still the score line. And what I'm gonna do is I'm also going to, the blade is just, I need to put some new blades on for next week. Okay, there we go. It's just a little ragged. That's my fault. I should have done that before I came on. So I just kind of lick my fingers and press that down and then it looks nice. Okay, so there's our Dutch door, which means half door. Okay, now we're just totally ready to decorate it. And I have all the fun stuff right in here. So if you are taking notes, um, what we're going to start with is we are going to go ahead and start with, let's see. Um, hmm. Okay, this, is that the right one? That might be the right one. Let me check. I'm telling you that um, 
I think this one might be it. The um, I got I just had trouble this morning because the electrician was around. Yeah, this is the piece right here. This piece is four by two and three quarters. And that's the piece that's going to go on the back there. So we can go ahead and glue that down. And just to, sh just to check, this is my piece of its sweet sorbet that's going to go right there. And this fits right inside it perfectly. So I did choose the right one. I went ahead and pre-cut because we do have to color in our fat cat. So again, this one is four inches by two and three quarters. And one reason I wanted to use this is because I, I have ordered a lot of the gingham paper, the country gingham paper. I love that paper and I really did. I ordered quite a bit of it and I used it for a project, a class, and I had a bunch of it left over. And so I have lots of country gingham paper and that's perfect. And we're gonna do a little stamping later, but that leaves a much larger area in there. Okay, now we can go ahead and let's glue this part down. We'll glue our gingham on. Just like this. And on this piece, I'll give you the measurements. The sweet sorbet piece is four by two and three quarters. And the gingham piece is three and three quarters by two and three quarters. So it's just in one quarter. Now we're gonna hold this off for just a minute because we need to do the fat cat. Okay, this is gonna be the backing piece for the fat cat. And this is going to be the little piece, if you can imagine, that we're gonna, that we're gonna stamp the cat on. I'm gonna stamp him in Sahara sand. I don't want his body to be real dark. I wanted him to be kind of a brown cat. <laughs> it does look like a 50s kitchen. Louise, good to see you. And Linda, I don't know what you mean that you do also, but as far as getting mixed up on things, I have to really pay attention, especially when I had, you know, turn on the lights, turn out the lights, that kind of thing when the electrician was here. Okay, so we're gonna stamp our um, fat cat and I'm gonna just get up really close here so I can try to get it, get him even in here. And I've got several pieces in case I make a mistake. I think that turned out pretty good. And again, that was um, Sahara Sand. And now we're just going to color him. We're going to brighten him up real pretty. So I've got, um, we, I could have done more, but I stuck with just pretty much the red and I used crumb cake for his body. So I'm going to use the red first. Actually, I'm sorry, it's sweet sorbet. We're all together. Everything here is today is sweet sorbet. That's one of the in colors for 2022 to 2024. So we're going to have that around for a while. But I tried not to do, have to do too much coloring. And I like to use my brush end. I don't know, a lot of people don't, but some people do. So really with your blends, it's kind of, you just do your own thing. And there's that little fun stripe on his hat. Okay, then I decided to color in these circles. And that way it kind of you don't need to really necessarily cut color in the cupcake um, cup we just color the circles and I think that'll do it oh. somebody's at the door it could, it could be Amazon it's okay Ellie it's okay baby She's gonna bark till they go away or till my husband goes to the door. She's our guard dog, she tells us. And if you don't go to see what it is, it upsets her, you know? So we'll see if my husband comes. Okay, so there are our circles. Then we're going to color in his little tie. Isn't that tie just cute? It's little too, it's, it's little. I think I might put some black in the center. Okay, now we're ready to um, we're ready to go ahead with the yeah. I think it was um, 
I think it was an Amazon guy because they didn't ring the bell or anything. Now I'm going to use uh, crumb cake and I'm just going to start coloring the cat in crumb cake. And we could do a lot of things. You know, there are, there is a lot you can do with this cat color wise. But um, I, I didn't want to take the time. So I'm really just coloring him in with this crumb cake. We could have done a calico cat. We could have done a black cat. All kinds of things. Let's see. We'll just get him all colored in, including his little hand. We'll just color over his little hand. So tell me what's new with you guys. Oh, hi, Lori. Mia's listening. Oh, that's her little baby. Good to see you, Lori. Yeah, she's, Ellie just has to go to the door. Does Mia bark at the door also? Lori. I think Lori might have made one of these fat cats. Have you made one of these cards, Lori? I know we were talking about how cute it is. And I'm going to color around his eyes and then we're going to color in his eyes black. And we're going to color in his nose and we're going to color in his whiskers. Linda, you can hear, oh, your doorbell as well when something is at the door. <laughs> yep, absolutely. Okay, and you can, what one thing to do to add color is just, um, rather than getting out the dark uh, crumb cake marker, I am just going over the, the places where Stampin' Up! Ha has already marked for us. You know, they've already given us some marks that are like shading. And so you can just go over those, like on the ear, I'm just gonna go over and make it a little darker. And on the tail, some of those little spots. It'll fade a little bit, but it does make a difference. Okay, now we're going to go in with our black and color his eyes and his nose and his whiskers. Um, I'm going to try to just put little tiny dots in here to give him a little... Ooh, I might have gotten too big of eyes. Maybe not. And a little black nose. It's a cute nose. The eyes are a little bit big. But then I decided for the whiskers, I got the last ones too dark, so I just got a black pen, and I thought I would just do the whiskers in a little black pen. And I think I'm just going to put on a few eyelashes. That might take care of that big eye situation. That's not too bad. We could color in the mouth. Just a tiny bit. Isn't that a cute cat? I love it. Very cute. Okay, so we've got our cat. Let me double check. Oh, I want to put a little black inside of the bow. Let me do that. Okay. So we've got our cat. And now what we're going to do is glue. This piece is um, three by two and a half. And the sweet sorbet is three and a quarter by two and three quarters, just a quarter inch bigger. I'll try to put these all on my blog for you tomorrow, um, and I'll measure them out again to make sure I'm doing it correctly. And I'll try to put them on YouTube also. So we're just going to put our cat right here, and then we're going to go back and um, finish our card. So this is the little part that is going to pop up from the Dutch door, okay? So what we're going to do here is we are going to put this on with Stampin' Dimensionals, but first we're going to put our cat in there like this. And I think I have it measured perfectly that this should come right up to the top of the card and then our piece should come right in there. So hopefully I did it right. Um, so what we're going to do is just just glue the bottom about an inch or less of the sweet sorbet part here. And then we just lay it over and see if we can get it even here. And that's why I love my glue. I do. I just love it. Maybe a little hair over it. Okay, and let's make sure nothing came through. Nothing came through the back. Almost, though, huh? 
Wow, almost, very close. And that way, then nobody is going to know, it doesn't really, I like this because it hides it in there. I think it hides where the, where the cat piece comes down. So now we're gonna um, put this piece on with dimensionals so it stands above the cat panel. Did you ever think you'd say that? Cat panel. <laughs> okay. And we'll just put this on. And then all we have to do really is our sentiment and our little stamping the inside. But I have a fun little thing to show you about the sentiment. Okay, so I want to get this just right. That came out pretty good, didn't it? It's that measuring. So again, I will get you the, the correct um, measurements. I think I said them, but in case I didn't, I want to get them correct for you. Okay, so the next piece, this is kind of an interesting little thing. I wanted to use these uh, scallops because I think they're super cute. This is from the scallop contour dies. It's from this largest die here. So I cut a piece of sweet sorbet using that die. This is the sentiment piece that I want to go across here, but I want some of the scalloping to be down below it like that. So what I'm gonna do, I don't want it to have an edge because then the left, the, the two sides wouldn't have an edge because this is too short. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little paper snips and I'm going to try to cut on each side. And this one here is, is not, the lower scallop is not going to be a full one, but the one on the left will. And I'm gonna fix this in a minute. So then here, I, I'm putting my scissors just against the white strip and it's coming down right in between those two scallops, just like that. And the strip is one inch by three and three quarters. Okay, so I have the edges correct, and now I'm just gonna cut this. I wanna cut it down below my, where my white piece is gonna be. And I'm just going to, nobody's gonna know that's not, a, don't tell, it's not exactly perfect, okay? And then this is gonna go right on there, like that. So we need to stamp it. We need to stamp our sentiment. Okay, so the sentiment we're gonna use is from this stamp set. I really like this one. It's the best day because it's your birthday. I think all of these are super cute sentiments. And I'm gonna stamp this in black. This is my memento. And I have about three extra strips in case I make a mistake. Um, so the one interesting thing here is that what I was noticing, um, here is the sample, the weight of the, it almost looks uneven because you have such heaviness in the capital letters and everything on this side, but actually this is in the center. So that is a little bit tricky to the eye. So let me see if I can get this right in the center. Don't look at my roots, okay? And we'll see if it comes out even. I'm just gonna press down for a minute. It did, it came out great. Okay, that's good, that's very good. It was easy because it ha it's an easy one to do because look at the, can you see the edges there? The, the top is pretty straight in the bottom also. So it makes it easy to get a straight to get your sentiment positioned correctly. Okay, now here's some sweet sorbet ink. And here is, I'm just gonna put, I don't wanna get my desk dirty, but I love these um, like little firework sparkler things and this particular stamp in this set, it is so cute. Look how cute this is. Aren't those sparklers just so cute? And I'm going to do it then also on the left. Isn't that just darling? And while I have 
um, the ink out, let's go ahead and where did I put my card? Hmm. Oh, here it is. We'll go right ahead and put some of the sparklers on the inside of the card and on the envelope since we have this out. See what I mean? Super cute and envelope coming. I think this looks adorable on a birthday envelope. And also remember, this would be great on the 4th of July, wouldn't it? I don't know if you can see those. There it is on the envelope. These would be fun to use for the 4th of July. Okay, so all of our stamping is done. Now we're gonna get our card back. We've got our sentiment piece. We've got our little scallops. And what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and glue this on. And then we'll use, did I use dimensionals to put that on or actual glue? I think I glued that right on, okay. So I think I'll put the glue right here on the scallop piece. just like that okay and put our sentiment piece and remember it comes all the way to the left and all the way to the right okay we'll just let that dry one little second while we press that down and then we're this should fit right in this section of the card We'll just glue it on like this. And I'm gluing it right at the top of the gingham. So it there's so there's that nice border there, like everything else on the card is bordered. So there's our envelope, and there's our little fat cat birthday card. Isn't that just cute? So actually, I have a I guess I didn't color as much on the eyes on this one, so I think I have a boy cat and a girl cat. What do you think? A boy card and a girl card? <laughs> I really, this cat is just so adorable. So that is your um, your card for today. I do, I do love that, that little cat. And it is fun. It's a humorous birthday. You know, we sent a, I sent a lot of flower cards for birthdays, but this little cat is just too cute. Okay, let's give away our prize. Um, so the prize this week was a really fun one. It's all these envelopes and uh, cards. I think I've only used one or two, so it's a full set. It's probably 17 or 18 of all these cards. Um, that fold up and fit right in the envelopes. I've got it all kind of taped in there, so I can't get it out. And um, it's a beautiful set. And our winner is Brenda Biley. Brenda listens mostly over on YouTube. But Brenda, I do have your address. And so I'm going to get this out to you. And she's a real faithful YouTube viewer. And I want to thank you so much for that, Brenda. I appreciate all of you watching my lives. That's why I give away the prizes because I appreciate you so much and I thank you. So I'll be getting that out to you. And I, if some of you received prizes, it's because this past weekend I sent out a ton of prizes. I usually have them sitting around for a week or two and then I sit down and blast them all out. So, okay, so the prize for next week are these retiring 2021 2023 in color opal rounds they're they're kind of sparkly they're really really pretty and so if you put the word prize today i will be looking at it a week from today if i can remember because i'm going to be so excited with that new catalog um i will and we'll give this prize away next week to every everybody who puts the word prize will be entered and then you know i assign a number to you and then i do the random number generator um, maybe someday i'll get someone to be my pal and come on over and do the wheel of names which is also very fun but you kind of have to have an extra person to do that wheel um, so i'd love to do that if i can rope somebody into coming over and helping me um, I might do that. 
So anyway, thank you guys for, for uh, watching today. I really appreciate it. Um, get those in color products, those retiring in colors, 21 to 23, before they're gone. And um, I won't know until the 29th what the retiring items are, but um, I'll, I'll let you know everything I can next Wednesday, so be sure to come back. Okay, thank